one of the Democrats actually yeah. sat down with me with a tear coming from his eye, emotionally, just he was wracked with anger. And he said, I hate you. And I am justified in hating you because of what your ancestors did to my ancestors. And I will hate you un until you make reparations for what your ancestors did to my ancestors. Jarvis Johnson said that to me. Black Democrat from Houston. Jarvis Johnson. Yes, said that and to me. He's another state representative like another you. Another state representative, yes. And, and he I said, said I, he told you. Yes. And I said, Jarvis. My ancestors did nothing to your ancestors. My ancestors were in Budapest, Hungary, and my grandfather, who lived in Budapest, Hungary when he was 12 years old, was beaten relentlessly by Catholic priests because he would not join the Catholic Church. He died 20 years before he should have because of the damage, kidney damage, he sustained as a young man. He fled Hungary for the United States because of the religious persecution that he and his family endured at the hand of Catholics. Now, am I justified in hating Catholics because of, of the fact that they killed my grandfather? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You, like you Steve, just said Steve, what you're earlier, talking about, yeah, what, what you're talking about, Steve, is a secular culture that doesn't believe in forgiveness. <laughs> But the and problem, that's a the very problem, dangerous culture. The, the problem, though, Jason, is that the church is buying into this. And I don't know if you had the chance to read Vody Bakken's book, Fault Lines, but I think this is going to be the undoing of the body of Christ, because so many of these woke young pastors that have allowed this grotesque theology into their hearts and minds, and they're spewing it out to young people today that are buying into it. There's no place for the power of the grace of Jesus Christ in Romans 6 and this transformation that Romans 6 talks about in our life where the old man has been done away with, the old body of sin has been put to sleep and put to death. And we've been raised with this new body, this new, this new nature that walks in love and grace and kindness towards one another. Critical race theory tells Christians to reject that. I'm going to